Salam. <laughs> That's a bloke. I greet you in the words of our Salam Aleikum with speaky peace and blessings be upon you. Miss you both Jesus and Muhammad's names. Peace be upon them. Both. I'm laughing because I got caught off guard, but that's a good blooper for the Underground Railroad. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, I want to say hi to the people in Canada, <laughs> United Snakes, <laughs> Central America, Europe, Asia, the Middle East, I'm leaving now somebody. Africa. <laughs> uh, in Africa. And um, you know, with my co host, Alderman Virgil Jones, and it's the Harold Davis. Thank you, bro. What's that? Booty butt naked truth. <laughs> I said it wrong. <laughs> okay. And uh, we're going to be interviewing Brother Harold Davis. You know, he has a fantastic radio show. He needs to be on five days a week. Man, I can say 24 hours a day, though. Can I <laughs> make that a wagon? Yeah, it would. And some more. And they need to give him some more wattage. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. So... Uh, please introduce yourself to the people. Beautiful t- radio show. <laughs> uh, Harold Davis, we on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, uh, 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock on Tuesday and Wednesday, 2.15 to 4 on Thursday. It's 15.70 on AM dial, and you can stream live all over the world, www.gospel1570.com. Hey, my co-host, you got any? No, I, I can tell you that... Uh, that uh, radio station, I think that, Harold, do you think they're getting ready to challenge VON? Well, you know, <laughs> I think we've already challenged them. I think we've already have gotten listeners that tune in to what we are saying. I think that VON has lost its luster when they stopped educating people and started directing people. Mm-hmm. They started directing people who to vote for, directing people, you know, on on all different levels. And when they lost that education, desire to educate people Mm -hmm. and then direct them, they lost a lot of listeners. And so Mm -hmm. we try to stay on the education side. We try not to direct people. We figure if you give enough people the information, the education, they'll make make their own decision. And if people knew better than most of the time, they, they do better. Yeah, news. Ooh, I'm a roving reporter for his show. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah, brother Cliff came in the other day. It was a gang fight. He was coming down 55th and normal. Came in and reported it on the station. So Cliff is one of the roving reporters for mm. the booty butt naked truth. I got a second job. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, brother Harold, you know what I want to ask you? You know, I want to talk you know, about New World Order. And I want to ask you, what do we do when it happens? But first I want to ask you, what is New World Order? What, what is it? Is it new? Well, I think it's been on the back of the dollar since, what, 1936, brother? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, so it's nothing new. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the it's Latin no, word. No, novus, novus Ordem Seclorum. Seclorum. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's been on there since 1936, so it's nothing new about it. Now, the uh, words y'all use, I got to t- revive y'all. I didn't get no school, and I got some food. That's, I need that's, y'all to explain it to that's me. That's Latin. That's Latin. Okay, explain yeah. it to me. It, it, it means new world order. New oh, okay. order. It means oh, okay. new world order. Been on the back of the house. Should I get for going to public school? <laughs> <laughs> 1936. Okay. And so, you know, it, it's nothing new about it. Um, I think the issue at this point is that with the national debt being $14.2 trillion. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you count it to a billion and 24 hours a day, it would take you 190 years to count to a billion. So imagine what a trillion is. And so the $14.2 trillion uh, national debt ceiling in America, uh, nobody wants the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar is the currency for the world. But nobody wants it at this point. If you go over to Europe, they don't want it. Wow. The Chinese say, we don't want no more of your money. We got too much. Um, and so the Chinese are saying that we rather have the land, and so this dollar that's 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 that's, that's dropping very fast. And I think one of these mornings we're going to wake up and they're going to say the dollar is no longer the currency of the world, and then this new world order will come in for whatever currency that would be, uh, brother Virgil. I don't know, mm-hmm. but you know the Chinese they're they're begging the Chinese to keep keep the the yarn. The, the, the yen out of there right now. Okay. And they're saying we want to put it forward. 
And so it's just a matter of time. I mean, the, the dish market is very strong. You, you, hear, you, very, you hear very little about that. Okay. Well, they're talking about using the Amero. You've heard that? Yeah, the Amero. That'll be with Canada, Mexico, the United States, America, and yeah. Mexico. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do away with the dollar right. completely. Right. I guess the question would be, how much would the dollar be worth if you have some money? I mean, would they tell you we're going to give you 10 cents on the dollar? We're gonna give you a penny on the dollar. Yes, sir. I mean, so what? What the, the actual question is? What would the dollar be worth? You know, uh, the gold is up was almost fifteen hundred dollars an ounce. Uh, the University of Texas bought a billion dollars worth of gold a month ago. Uh, George Soros sold eight hundred million dollars worth of gold Wednesday. See, George Soros, who was that? That's the that's the boy that goes around the world and and breaks up markets. And sells everything and sells from, from, okay. from sells okay. everything from yeah. dope on. And and, and and then with him and then uh Gaddafi has hundred and forty three tons of gold that they haven't found yet. And so, you know, the issue is, you know, when this dollar falls, I and mean, what's would, it gonna be worth? Would you yeah. say that part of what happened with uh in, in Iraq, he said he wasn't gonna use any uh US dollars mm -hmm. with that oil anymore. Right, right. What you were gonna have to do is we didn't gotta accept your dollars. You right. gotta pay us in euros. Right. Right. And they said, Oh no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> have you lost your mind? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, so the issue becomes, you know, uh, the powers that be, you know, this international monetary mm -hmm. fund, uh, this bank of settlements that people don't talk about. Mm -hmm. I mean the bank of settlements is really the, the power, isn't that right, uh, Brother Virgil? Yes, and they they have a, a great deal of power. That's what they did with this uh, mm -hmm. guy who was going to run for president of France. Right. Because right. he had came up with a Strauss, program. Levi Strauss, yeah, whatever his name yeah, is. Yeah, he came up with a program where they weren't going to have to use any American dollars. He right. raped somebody according to them. I said he came up with a program mm -hmm. where they were not going to have to use any U.S. dollars anymore. Mm. Oh, yeah. And he was the number one contender for president of France over right. Sarkozy. Yes. They had to destroy him. Mm -hmm. that's, that's exactly what they did. 